Hello guys, welcome to our Gemini Code Assist course. And in this video, we'll talk about first thing, the quick demo of Gemini Code Assist extension in VS Code. Then we will understand like, why do we need Gemini Code Assist? Then we'll also understand the common developer chill challenges that we face usually in our daily life without a Code Assist, right? Then what is Gemini Code Assist? We'll also explain how Gemini Code Assist works. And we'll, at the end of the video, I'll talk about different editions of Gemini Code Assist that is available to us. Okay, so let's quickly first dive into this demo. So I have this VS code open with me and there is a directory that I've opened Gemini projects. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to extensions and here in extension, I'm going to install this Gemini code assist extension. Okay, do check it out that it is from Google and it's called Gemini code assist. Then let's click on install. So once let it be installing, so it, it has installed. Now it will appear here like this icon okay this is basically a gemini icon we'll click on this and what you see here is a basically a very uh, good chat panel i'll talk about this later but i just wanted to give you a quick taste of what gemini code ex ex assist extension how it works in vs code then all you have to do here is basically you have to sign in let me quickly go and do the signing part it will ask you to open it Okay, and then you just click on your email and basically authenticating Gemini to kind of make request to the Gemini model through this email ID, right? So let me do a signing. And once this is done, it will tell you that you can close this window or you can, you can return to your ID or terminal. So then let's go back. Now, <coughs> you see here your name also appears and then basically you are ready to now use the Gemini or the AI power to, you know, code uh, to help you in coding okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here this is a directory that i've opened i'm going to create a file here called as let's call this uh, email uh, validator dot py py is basically the python extension okay so let me create this file and i'm going to not going to write any code here instead i'm going to ask gemini to code write code for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask gemini to you know write uh, uh, write code for validating an email that ends with uh, at cto com, right and uh, also the username should be at least six characters so basically what i'm trying to say is before at the rate i want at least six characters to be there and no special characters should be should be allowed in the should be allowed in the user email user name user name is basically i'm trying to tell you username is basically the part before the act right okay and then it uh, user name should not start with a digit okay so I'm going to just press enter here. So this is the prompt that I've written. This is basically I'm giving prompt to Gemini code assist and it's trying to generate code out of it. So let me press enter here. And then Gemini is going to do its magic from behind the scenes. We'll see in later video how it works actually, but let me just uh, try to do this. So it's actually has written the code, but I wanted to tell key add it in this file. Okay. So basically add, add this code in the email validator.py file okay so i hope that uh, yeah so it has actually added this code right this is really magic so you can see here that we have a validate email function it has kind of added a pattern and uh, looks like it works so i'm not gonna can we run yeah we can run this also so these are different emails and uh, uh, this is not gonna work this is not gonna work and even this is not gonna work this is only four letters this has john one two three so i think this will this should work at ctobaya.com john it, it has a special character underscore so this is also not gonna work so let's let's run this so let, i'm gonna do is so i'm gonna create start a new terminal and actually i'm gonna show you a few things as well that you can click on right here to kind of accept this changes in this file okay we'll talk about this more in a later video but yeah just gonna do this so the code has been added to this file so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to terminal start a new terminal and actually run this code so python 
I have installed Python into my terminal, so Python 3, and then I'm gonna pass the file name email validator.py file. So if I enter this, so see, my code is kind of very good and it's working. For this email, it's true. It uh, ends with nctubaya.com and the username has more than six characters and it follows the pattern that I told him, right? Here it is invalid because it doesn't have the ctubaya.com. Here it starts with a digit, so this is also false. Here it is only four letters, so this is also false. And it has a special character, so this is also false. So it has done some testing for us as well. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the power I was talking about, right? The using a code assistant to write code for you. Okay, so now that we have seen this demo, you can also try this and play around with these few things. We will do this anyways in later parts of the video. Now let's go and uh, do some theory, right? Which where we are gonna talk about like why Gemini code assist, okay? So over the time, developer tools has evolved from people used to do a lot of code in text editor. Uh, they were like Linux experts who used to do code in Vim or uh, Emacs or whatever it is. Then from there, we move to IDs. IDs are basically integrated development environments, which provides you a lot of things out of the box, like syntax highlighting, uh, uh, quick compilation errors, or just uh, highlighting that this is the error is there so that you can write good code or correct code on the go itself. And, and then you can do a lot of search in the file. So this is what IDs used to provide. Now, in the last few years, in the last two or three years, we have moved from IDs to AI powered collaborators, which is what we just saw. That you are coding and then there is an AI, don't do it, uh, AI right in, inside your code editor, helping you write better code or helping you write faster code uh, or a code that can be like, not very difficult or basically uh, that could be written, uh, you, you will take a lot of time to write that code, but uh, AI can do it much faster. Okay, now it's not, project is not just about lots of code, product, uh, pro a project generally has like dealing with microservices, APIs, a lot of framework changes and complex requirements. So you can see as a developer, you need to track a lot of things. You need to understand the project in much depth, right? But what I'm gonna see is that Gemini code assist or any AI code assist can act as a partner inside that ID, right? And helping you understand that code better, writing that code faster so that you, you focus more on the features or the business rules that are required to, uh, that are required for some feature, right? And not bogged down by the complexity of the project. And you can use Gemini code assist to, you know, kind of ex explain me that function, explain me that feature and so on and so forth, okay? So, Gemini uh, code assist, it reduces the context switching that you have to like uh, know the language, you know the, know the stack, know the microservices, know the business rules. So a lot of context switching happens, like you have to switch from uh, knowing the what microservices are being used in this project and then knowing that you need to know Java or Python or whatever stack that you're using. So Gemini or any AI code assist reduces this context switching and help you that you do the real work, like think about the business rules, and even in plain language or in prompt, uh, using the natural language in prompt, you can just ask uh, AI code assist, uh, AI assistant to write the code for you. Okay, so this is about uh, uh, why Gemini code assist, what it does for us, and let's talk about a common developer challenges, right? We generally as a developer see that projects can get really complex, right? And, and understanding the whole complex systems at the start when you get hired for some project, Understanding that an entire project as a whole can get very difficult, right? And we also know that most tasks are repetitive, right? You have to, let's say you're a auto function, and then you have to write a unit test case for this. Then you do some other work, and maybe you need to integrate some libraries. You need to uh, set up some boilerplate code. Maybe you're starting a new project, and company always sees that, hey, this is the kind of boilerplate we use, and you have to kind of uh, set up that boilerplate code again and then writing documentation or uh, hey, we write configs here and all those things and then uh, documentation, all those things. So these are the tasks that are kind, of, kind of repetitive and basically it takes your thinking which you can apply in a lot of research or business rules. It makes you move from that thinking to you know write this boring task, which we can take the help of AI to do for us, okay? So again, uh, one more thing is speed versus quality. And many times what happens is uh, uh, deadlines are coming, right? And with deadlines uh, coming faster, you have to push code uh, faster and you kind of forget or basically think that, hey, I'll write documentation for this later. Or I'll write uh, unit test case for this later maybe. And uh, sometimes in doing faster code, you can push some 
uh, environmental changes and all those all those things in the uh, in the files that are not expected right in this scenarios the uh, ai can be very helpful for you right it can tell you that hey uh, i can generate a documentation for you i can generate the unit test cases for you and you can just focus on more complex sides of the projects right so this is where uh, you can think about a speed versus quality that developer has to uh, 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 see in their daily lives right so yeah and then what it does is even uh, ai can help a lot in refactoring as well and uh, um, because of these deadlines what happens as a developer challenge is that lots of backlog and technical debt comes into picture that hey we will do this later in the three months this much technical debt has piled up and developers don't have bandwidth to take up a new feature instead they have to you know kind of uh, they have to kind of work on these things for the next three months and they can't take a new feature which is customer is asking right okay so now let's talk about the what is the gemini code assist it's basically an assistant by google powered by gemini and it is tuned specifically for the code as you know the llms or any uh, ai assistant we generally give them prompts and they give some output to us right there are some LLMs that are specifically for coding that are like designed, they have been trained a lot on different coding projects, on different uh, uh, co different coding projects and different coding data sets. And then they are very specifically tuned for code. And Gemini Code Assist is one of those. Okay, It helps understand complex systems and helps with repetitive tasks. It works directly in ID, which we just saw, which is basically our Gemini code assist extension, and it minimizes the distraction. How it minimizes the distraction? That we kind of uh, uh, don't have to switch our context between different uh, uh, kinds of things that they, we have in project, but instead we can just focus on our real work and ask Gemini or a code assist or any AI assistant to explain me this part of the code or explain me the project and so on and so forth. Okay, so Gemini is right now available in two flavors. So one is the, uh, definitely in ID, which we just saw the extension part in like uh, in a code editor like uh, VS Code, JetBrains ID, or Android Studio. It uh, it is available as an extension, or basically we also call this very uh, good chat panel. Okay, and another way Gemini is available is in CLI. CLI is basically uh, in the command line interface you write something like like ls or uh, cd and all those things. Um, CLI inside the CLI, Gemini is also available as a kind of a tool in CLI, right? We'll see this uh, as the first uh, thing and then we'll move to the ID part as well. Not in this video, but in later parts of the video, okay? We see the, uh, that, uh, at least in the demo, that Gemini extension can generate full functions, class, and it's uh, just from comments. We'll see this latex. It can refactor code, it can write tests for us, it can explain the code as well. So if I go here, right? If I go here, let me write a small function, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just write def add a comma b, and then I can return. See, this this is this is really good, right? It is has given me kind of a hint, not a hint. It is this this is just not a simple autocomplete. This is what we call a ghost text. So Gemini is kind of providing us that hey, you wanted to write this uh, return a plus b, and maybe you would want to uh, uh, create another function, basically subtract a plus uh, subtract a and b, right? So this is another very interesting feature. So I'm gonna just press tab here and I'm not gonna write subtract function, <coughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code, okay? And then here you see a tube light, right? This tube light is basically uh, your Gemini inside your code editor. I can click here and do multiple things. One is generate code, one is explain this, or one is generate unit test cases. Let's click on explain this. And what it will do is, and it has written the prompt here. Now I can do, do and another thing you see that it has written here that context is selecting these two lines, okay? I'll talk about this later. Let me click here, explain this. And now what Gemini is going to do is basically it's going to return a description of what this code does. Now think about this, right? Your, your company generally has many complex projects and inside those complex projects, you can just select some code and ask Gemini to explain that code for you, right? Otherwise, what would happen? You would go to a senior developer, ask him that, hey, what does this code does? What this code does? You are basically wasting a lot of time that a senior developer can do in, uh, can use in much better things to do, right? So yeah, this is another thing that Gemini can do for us. And uh, now let's go. And we <coughs> we saw a context aware chat panel. The chat panel is basically the extension. And we can ask questions in editor also, right? 
and there are smart actions menu which we'll talk about uh, actually smart actions menu is something that we have already seen here which is this when we still select this code right this is this smart actions menu okay okay so this agent mode is something that we'll talk about later basically it helps us in uh, like maybe setting up the entire stack for this project or setting up the uh, unit test cases infra for this project we will see through the cli that how we can do this okay now let's talk about how gemini code assist works okay so what has happened is they have de designed this llm model gemini code assist and basically this model is trained on open source uh, a lot of open source repositories that are there in github and uh, different repositories then they have also trained it on the so called good quality google code that over the time google has written right and also maybe some other uh, uh, public code materials that google at least says that they don't use to train on but they must have like reddit or other uh, uh, like code pen and from others they have must have used those code to train this gemini code assist on okay once the training is done uh, what generally happens is basically you have a big project right you have written a lot of files a lot of architecture and all those things okay now this gemini code assist using your project as context what it does is it tries to give you response according to your project and based on the prompt that you give to them okay so this is the difference and prompt is what prompt is basically writing something to gemini and ask them to return something to me okay so that is what a prompt is and this is how it works right gemini code assist is trained on these materials and then you provide your project it gets the context of the project and based on that using this knowledge that it has and the project context that this has it try to generate response according to your project this is how it works there are multiple editions of uh, gemini one is individual which is also free which is we, what we are going to use in this uh, uh, series then there is standard which is also paid and is good for small teams the difference between these is basically the request the amount of requests that you can make to gemini for example when we return a line of code or when we return a prompt here right this is basically a request to the gemini right gemini ai code assist and you kind of generate the response for this is one of the requests right then what happens is uh, gemini also builds upon that request it remembers the last request last request last request so this is also called as a context window that how much context or how much window that i had and uh, using that i will deliver my response so obviously in these models uh, uh, in these basic models you will have less requests and you will also have a, a lesser kind of a context window there is one more important difference is that basically if you are using this individual edition then your data is kind of going for the gemini code assist here for the training part right but uh, here in standard which is paid or for small teams and enterprise for paid or basically large organizations like uh, um, you can think about it right like salesforce or maybe something like that for there the data is kind of very important and basically what happens is if you buy the standard edition or the enterprise edition then basically what will happen is your code will not be used to train the gemini code assist so that is the important part okay and uh, last as a conclusion what gemini is gemini is basically your ai teammate it is like kind of uh, a friend or a senior who can or a junior as well which you can delegate your tasks to or ask information about the projects and everything okay guys so that is it for this video this was a quick uh, not a quick but yeah this was some introduction on gemini code assist and in the later video now we'll delve into some more theories and uh, also we'll talk about like how cli uh, that is the first thing that we'll do we'll set up cli i'll also talk about like what things are required to work with cli and then we'll start uh, building some things using cli okay so i'll see you in the next video bye